I grew up around a lot of art. It was one of the easiest ways to pass the time. So when I wasn't watching television or playing outside with my friends or doing some chores around the house, I'd be making small drawings in my books. It was something that I did for fun. I was encouraged to keep on doing it because I got appreciated for it. For instance, in school, teachers would call me to make drawings on the board when we had to make uh, science illustrations. Yeah. And then uh, after junior high school, when I was about to enter senior high school, I decided to pursue visual arts as a course. I think that was when I made that conscious decision to try and make a life out of making art. I was in the KNUST since 2007 and I studied the Bachelor of Fine Arts in Painting program. And over in the KNUST, um, there was a lot of art history. Students got to see how artists of old used their work to just sometimes reflect on society or just express certain ideas. I think all prominent artists at a point have stood for one thing or the other and their work has always been their voice. It was quite easy for me to also uh, let some of you know, the political commentary flow into my work because growing up in Ghana meant that there was a lot of political discussions on the radio and on the TV and almost everything that happened in the country was seen through partisan political lenses. So that was how I got interested in making political commentary with my work and it's been a, a very interesting journey since. With the political nature of my work and usually the tone that I present, which is that of dissent, I had to make my paintings inspire some kind of happiness or laughter or good feeling you know so that people were just more comfortable about talking about political issues because you also realize a lot of these issues are very very touchy and and a lot of people would just prefer to shy away from it than to be seen actively engaging despite the fact that we are employing satire I still want people to know that these issues that inspire my work are serious issues that, that demand serious reflection. There are a lot of things that I would like to do before I hang my tools, if I ever do, but some would be to be able to show my work in all the prestigious places art can be shown, you know, and just, just so that I can share my art with as many people as I possibly can. You know, I don't know exactly how or when it's going to happen, but it's something that I dream about and then every time I work, it, it inspires and motivates me to just keep on working. And I hope I am, but I, I'd like to inspire, I mean, the younger generation of artists, especially those from Ghana and from the continent, to just also be more confident about creating whatever kind of work that they want to create because uh, there is a space for all kinds of voices to be heard so just you know, keep creating and, and sharing those visions.